Assalamu alaikum. Today's topic is on remembrance of Allah. Allah tells us in the Quran to engage in an intense level of remembrance, dhikr. Oh, you have believed, remember Allah with much remembrance and exalt him morning and afternoon. True contentment of the ruh comes from a source that is not from this world. And we know that the ruh comes from Allah. We talked about the ruh in another video. The Quran says unquestionably, by the remembrance of Allah, hearts are assured. Ibn Taymiyyah said, remembrance is to the heart what water is to fish. What happens to the fish that leaves the water? Let's talk about how to remember Allah, dhikr. We all know that we can repeat Allah's names and attributes throughout the day. We can do dua, supplications, which we are all aware of from hadith and Quranic sources. We can also recite the Quran itself. As Allah says, we reveal the reminder, dhikr, which is referring to the Quran itself. The daily prayers are also a means to remember Allah. And today we would like to discuss more on this point, which is reflecting on Allah's creation and contemplating about the signs within ourselves. This is another way to remember Allah. Reflection, the fakkur, and pondering, the dabbur, of the Quran are also forms of remembrance. Allah praises those who reflect and contemplate, referring to them as possessors of understanding. Ulul al-Bab. The Quran says, Indeed, in the creation of the heavens and the earth and the alternation of the night and the day are signs for those of understanding. The fakkur is reflection with contemplation and deep thought. So the Quran says, Men who remember Allah standing, sitting, and lying down on their sides and contemplate the wonders of creation. Tadabbur means pondering with meditation and is particularly used in relation with the Quran as we will look at next. Tadabbur is to ponder and particularly used with the Quran. Allah says, will they not then ponder on the Quran? If it had been from other than Allah, they would have found therein much incongruity. So had the Quran been from other than Allah, there would have been inconsistencies. For example, if one were to look at the Bible, there are some inconsistencies found, particularly in the theology of God. Also, the Quran itself serves as a remembrance of Allah. Pondering over the Quran keeps the heart enlightened as Allah questions those who do not ponder on the Quran saying, are there locks on the hearts? The polytheists of Makkah are criticized in the Quran because had they pondered over the Quran, they would have realized that they were actually being honored and chosen to receive the Holy Scripture, just like previous nations like the Jews were chosen to receive Scripture. Now let's look at the reciprocation for the remembrance of Allah. Allah says, then remember me, I will remember you. In addition, dhikr spiritually elevates the rank of the believer as the Prophet ﷺ said, shall I not inform you of the best of your actions, the purest in the sight of your Lord, which raises your rank to the highest. So he said, this action of remembrance of Allah is better than spending your wealth and even better than participating in battle. Now we see what happens when we forget Allah with our deep involvement in our worldly affairs. Allah says, and whoever turns away from my remembrance, indeed he will have a depressed life and we will gather him on the day of resurrection blind. Another verse, O oh, you have believed, let not your wealth and your children divert you from the remembrance of Allah and whoever does that then those are the losers. Now we look at how angels can encircle the gatherings that are conducted for the remembrance of Allah. The Prophet said when any group 
a few remember Allah, angels surround them and mercy covers them. Tranquility descends upon them and Allah mentions them to those who are with him. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. In contrast, the next hadith informs us of the opposite. As the Prophet ﷺ said, the devil is encircling the heart of the son of Adam. When he mentions Allah, the shaitan withdraws. But when he is neglectful, the shaitan makes evil suggestions. The Prophet ﷺ said, the best of faith is to love for the sake of Allah, to hate for the sake of Allah, and to work your tongue in the remembrance of Allah. And he continued, that you love for people what you love for yourself, and you hate for them what you hate for yourself, and that you speak goodness or you remain silent. May Allah help us apply this hadith in our life. Please subscribe for more videos. Jazakallahu khairan for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.